hey, it's five o'clock on Tuesday, so we're making the Tuesday talk. Uh, it's been a couple, busy couple of days. I went down to talk to our providers, the Together Georgia uh, group yesterday at Jekyll Island. Uh, really shared with them what we're doing in terms of Family First, in terms of trying to really create our expanded uh, family preservation system. We talked a little bit about uh, House Bill 472, which the governor has signed, which will require judges to look at the possibility of alternatives to foster care prior to bringing the child into care. And so there are a lot of changes going on and I would just remind the providers and I want to remind you all as well that they really are um, part of our, of our child welfare system. They're a significant integral part of what we do. We can't do our work well unless we're in good communication with them. We have good collaboration back and forth. And so I went down there and talked to them and, and really had a, a, a nice uh, time learning from them what their concerns are. Um, I also went to Macon today uh, to talk to our um, all of our association of DFAC's local boards. And we really talked about two things. We talked about the need to staff up so that we can reduce caseloads and also the need to simplify a lot of our child welfare work especially so that we are doing what the people of Georgia expect us to do but also kind of keeping in our lane in terms of you know, addressing the needs of children who are at serious risk of harm, who are in immediate danger of harm. But we, of course, can't be all things to all people. We are part of a child welfare system that includes those providers, that includes uh, our local communities, our local churches, our local civic groups, the other state agencies that we work with, such as mental health and the Department of Community Health and the Department of Public Health. Um, so I'm hopeful that as we staff up and then of course make sure that we are working to uh, keep reasonable workloads for our staff that we'll be able to retain staff better and um, really make this agency the best it can possibly be because the people of Georgia deserve that. Uh, it's still uh, uh, April so it's still Child Abuse Prevention Month. Just want to uh, thank all of you who have uh, been talking about prevention this week and this month. To your, uh, I know a lot of folks have gone out to clubs and talked about it. I know we've had a number of prevention related events. I'm seeing pinwheels everywhere. Forgot mine today, I'm sorry. Um, but just remember that if we can prevent child abuse from ever occurring, then our job is so much easier and our families and children are so much better off. Um, so what else we got? Oh yeah, uh, so also Governor Kemp this week signed a new bill that targets sex trafficking and labor trafficking as well. Uh, we got to participate in that this past week. Um, sex trafficking and labor trafficking of children especially remains a significant issue in this state and, and really worldwide. So be on the lookout as they say if you see something say something uh, especially when our young people who are in foster care run away they are very vulnerable to being trafficked by those who would exploit them. So let's keep an eye on those issues. Um, the U.S. Marshal's Office and the GBI and our folks have been really working hard lately to track down missing ch children who are missing from foster care and children who have run away. So I'm really appreciative of all the joint efforts on that. Uh, like I said, it's been a long day. It's already 5 o'clock. So let's get home. Um, hope you enjoyed your three-day weekend. Uh, but it's time to get back to work. So thank you all. See you next week.